Number 31. Heat is added to ice at 0 degrees Celsius. Explain why the temperature of the ice does not change. And then what does change? All right. So we have a scenario here, right? We have ice. So let's bring in some ice cubes, shall we? So here's some ice cubes. Uh, maybe I'll draw three of them. So there's one. Oh, boy. Here's two. And can I do three-dimensional drawings? I am not sure. Let's see. Let's just pretend. Let's see. Can I do it? Can I be an artist? Not really. So I'm not going to draw it there. Maybe I'll draw it over here. This is better. Oh, boy. So let's see. Can I get in there? Oh, boy. That's pretty good. Wow, that's actually okay. There's my three-dimensional representation. How does that look? Beautiful, right? Okay, so enough uh, enough drawing here. But I, I can't, I can't. I can't just not finish it. Okay, that's nice. All right, here's my three ice cubes, right? So we'll say ice. And remember, when we're saying that something is ice, it's a solid of water, right? So it's just water that's a solid form. And we have a degree symbol here. We have a temperature, right? We have zero degrees. Now, there's two temperatures that you should memorize for H2O, and one of them is zero. Zero degrees is a melting temperature. So it's a melting, freezing combination temperature. But in this case, we're talking about melting because heat is being added. So stuff's getting hot. So in essence, the ice is turning into, if, if all these were colored in little cute little light blue fashion, gotta love it, gotta spark it up a little bit. What's gonna happen is basically just a pool of ice is just going to be on the floor now. How fun is that? Beautiful. But basically, you know, the ice cubes are going to melt. And the H2O is just going to exist as the water. And if we say that it's water, it's always in a liquid formation. And this is happening at zero degrees Celsius. This is a phase change. A phase change is when you're taking one state of a, a molecule or a compound or whatever it is and just turning it into a different phase. Keep in mind that phase changes are always physical properties because you're not doing anything with the actual molecule. H2O is H2O. You're just orientating or you know, uh, breaking some intermolecular forces, intermolecular attractions, to get your different configuration, whether it's in a nice crystal form or whether it's all loopy and goopy and you know, flowy like water. Now, when this happened, right, heat was applied. So increase in heat. But now the question is, well, if we're increasing the heat, why does this temperature stay the same? Why is water going to always uh, melt at zero degrees Celsius and it's going to stay zero degrees Celsius, this process, even when we're adding heat? Well, the easiest way to go about this question is to actually look at the units of a heat value versus a temperature value. Now, temperature we know and love, right? There's three forms of temperature here. There's Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin. But now, specifically speaking, that we're talking about Celsius here, I'm just going to leave it as a Celsius value. But now, when we're talking about heat, right, we're not talking about temperature. Heat is your state functions. It's your delta functions, like your delta G, delta S, delta um, uh, H, right? Now, heat specifically is a enthalpy. It's the delta H. The reason why I was saying G and H and S, because just like enthalpy, all of those are energy values. Because if we look at the units here, it's kilojoules per mole. That's the standard unit for enthalpy. And a kilojoule 
if we break down what a kilojoule is or if a joule is, it's a kilogram uh, meter squared over second squared. There is no Celsius, there's no Fahrenheit, there's no Kelvin that is existing between the two of these units. So they basically do not cross paths. This is in terms of an energy value. It's in joules versus Celsius is a temperature value. So that's one of the reasons why the temperature of the ice does not change is because um, there is no temperature... There's no temperature unit in heat units, right? Because the heat units are kilojoules per mole, not like Celsius per mole or something like that. So that's one of the reasons why. Now, another reason why is that when this process is happening, the heat that's being added is being absorbed by the ice. You need a lot of energy to break the intermolecular forces that are in this ice. It's like a crystal lattice. It's like a very structured type of formation. It's a solid. So it needs to absorb a lot of heat, a lot of energy to break those intermolecular attractions. And when you break those intermolecular attractions, you will become more liquidy, a.k.a. water. So heat is absorbed by the ice to overcome. That was a little terrible. To overcome the intermolecular attractions. Molecular attractions. And that's also another reason why, let's say, to become water. That's also why the temperature doesn't change, because all the heat is being absorbed by the ice. It's being used up by the ice. Now, the last thing is that we just have to say, well, what does change? Now, the only thing that I can pinpoint here is in the process of going from ice to water, right? If we watch this in you know real time, what's going to happen to these ice cubes? They're going to start getting less and less, and less, and the pool of water is going to sit below them, right, and become bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's what's going to change. The change that's going to happen is the amount of ice decreases while the amount of water that's being made increases. Only when your ice is fully converted into the water does the temperature increase. But at this point in time, when you're just phase changing, that temperature is remaining constant because all that extra heat, all that extra energy needs to be absorbed by the ice to convert it to the water. And that's it, guys. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. Thank you so much. And I will be looking forward to helping in the next problem. Helping you out. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.